Efforts are now underway to reform the Delaware River Port Authority. Lawmakers in New Jersey and Pennsylvania have bills they're pushing, while the agency spending now currently is the subject of a federal investigation as well. And construction projects could trigger big problems this year. Joining us now from our studio at Rowan University, the CEO of the Delaware River Port Authority, John Hanson. Mr. Hanson, we appreciate your being here. That's a full plate of challenges you have going forward. Are you, are you comfortable with what you have in front of you? I am. I've been with um, I've been with the Port Authority now for uh, a little over nine years. I served as the CFO for most of that time, and even before that, I was on the board. So, um, I think I have a good understanding of what needs to be done. What does need to be done? Because we're seeing in these bills calls for the culture in the Delaware River Port Authority to be changed, to be changed from within. What what do you what are they talking about? And do you agree? Well. I agree that we need to work on the culture, uh, and and um, I really haven't taken a position on those bills, but I don't think they really um, will change the culture in the way that it needs to be changed. What we're trying to do with the culture is to emphasize the stewardship role of the authority, meaning that, <clears throat> that what we do is we hold the four bridges the Walt Whitman Bridge, the Ben Franklin Bridge, the Commodore Barry and the Betsy Ross Bridge, as well as the PACO line, we hold them in trust for the public. We care for them, we maintain them, we operate them, we protect them, and we do that to serve the community. Those ideas, I think, are the, are the ideas that really have the power to transform the authority and to change the culture. Uh, but exactly how would you do that? What would you do differently? What needs to be done differently? Well. I think, first of all, you focus on your role as, a, uh, as someone who's caring for the assets on behalf of the public. So uh, one of the Would you spend less on non-transportation projects? Uh, that's the, the, I guess, the core of this federal investigation is how DERPA had spent money on non-transportation related projects. Right. And so the Delaware River Port Authority is no longer involved in spending on non-transportation projects, except for uh, those few that were under contract already that are legacy projects that, uh, that will be expiring soon. So that's already been accomplished by resolution and uh, the money's been spent, so there's no money left to do that. So no, we are no longer spending money on anything except for our core, uh, core mission and assets. You also have some, some um, I guess, uh, dissident voices from within. Uh, John Doherty is a, a member of the board and also a, a Philadelphia a union leader, says that it's out of whack when it comes to how much money is being spent in Pennsylvania versus New Jersey, not enough in his opinion, and that when it comes to hiring, Pennsylvania doesn't get enough hiring as opposed to New Jersey. Do you agree with him? Well, that right. Um, Commissioner Doherty, what he said specifically was that the hiring was out of whack. He wasn't talking about spending, and he said that he felt that um, that DRPA needed to hire more Pennsylvania uh, residents uh, as workers. So the board addressed that and indicated that the Labor Committee would be looking at that and stepping up their recruitment efforts in Pennsylvania. And uh, you're only about 20 seconds left here. Uh, we're expecting a lot of losses in terms of ridership because of construction-related delays on PATCO, correct? <laughs> We're looking at uh, probably 2% or so, maybe um, 300 to $500,000 in revenues. All right, Mr. Hansen, have to leave it there. Hope to check back with you, sir. Thank you very much for coming on the program. It's good to be here.